A Heart for Art breakfast was held benefiting the Hall of Fame for the arts. Here's more. What we're doing this morning is we're celebrating the arts. And we're celebrating the, uh, the introduction, if you will, officially, the Hall of Fame for the Arts. This has been a, um, a program, if you will, an initiative that's been underway for about the last three years. And finally today, on February 13, 2018, we have officially launched the Hall of Fame for the Arts. Well, how it works is uh, people are going to be given the opportunity to nominate individuals who have demonstrated over a period of time excellence and passion in the arts. And I'm talking about all of the arts. So there is a nomination process. You can find it online at the, at the website, or we have uh, individual sheets that we can hand out to you if you so desire. What they will do is they will fill in the information uh, about the individual, some background, some, a short bio, a picture, something that depicts what in fact they have been engaged in over a good long period of time. They will send them to the uh, a committee uh, which has already been struck and they will determine who indeed makes the Hall of Fame for the Arts. The most important thing there too is we have people currently involved, will be involved in future and posthumously many many individuals who have since passed that we want to recognize too. Well, it's important because arts is the life, in my mind, arts is the lifeline of any, any endeavor, any, any initiative that you might be engaged in. Whether that be singing or dancing, putting on a show, uh, doing, uh, creating something beautiful on a, on a silk screen or whatever, all of that is important to the quality of our lives. And anything and everything that we can do to promote that is most, most helpful. They can uh, view it online and uh, can be accessed by your home computer or can you can go to the Benson Center, see it all on a 55-inch screen, which was donated by Best Buy, um, uh, and we thank them very much for that. And if you have a special event coming up and you would like to uh, uh, have that opportunity to be able to show that information, that screen and that information is available. It has been long-standing in trying to achieve this. I feel we are much, much closer today. Certainly this event promotes it, having all the representation, if you will, from the city, city councillors, the mayor, uh, Guy Lozo, and so many of the arts group's personnel represented here today. Uh, this, I believe, will eventually see us, re see us achieve the long-term goal of having an arts centre for the arts, and I'm very pleased to say that the arts community at large is united and want to see this thing happen.